One of the most important aspects of the India-Pakistan recent conflict is the fact that how India managed to stave off uh, attacks coming in from the side of Pakistan, particularly as far as drones and missiles are concerned. A big role that has been played by our own indigenous Akash Tir system. Joining us now is Mr. Prahlad Ramarao, a DRDO scientist who played a very, very pivotal and important role in the development of the Akash system. Thank you so much, Mr. Rao, for joining us. Regarding the Akash system, you have recently said that it's the happiest day of your life seeing your baby work so accurately and beautifully in shooting down incoming enemy aerial targets. Uh, can you elaborate how it felt to witness your creation performs so exceptionally. Yeah. See, uh, I never thought that in my life I will see such a real life battlefield validation of what we have done. You know, we only see in the test ranges, you know, there are test ranges where we test. But this time we saw real life battlefield and especially our user, Army and Air Force, saying that it's done a good job. It gives real happiness. For me and my entire family of 1,000 scientists who have slogged for 15 years. Right. Also, uh, Akash has now proved to be it's uh, uh, successful in defending key Indian cities from these drones, missiles, etc. Uh, what further advancements or next generation features do you envision for future iterations of our indigenous air defense system? And do you believe that even in the current situation, Akash has performed beyond expectations? Yes, yes. Even current... It has got unique features when compared to similar surface-to-air, medium-range, multi-target handling missile system. It has got some unique features which are not, uh, which are superior to anything else available in the world. So we are happy it will be current for quite some time. Mm. But definitely, there is always uh, new science will come, new technology will come, and user also will share his experience. He can, can you do something different, something uh, uh, special can you do? Or customize for our, my army, like that they will ask. Then we will, we will do improvement. We have a team dedicated for product development. See, this missile system will be there with the user for 30 to 40 years. Hmm. So we need a product development, maybe every five years we have to upgrade something or other, some hardware, some hmm. software. So we are going to do that and ensure that it will be current with the Army and the Air Force as long as it's with them. Mm. And, and that's, that's our conviction and I think we are really, we are geared up for it. Right. Uh, also, uh, when you say that it is very different from anything else that is available uh, globally, without, of course, compromising any of the operational details, uh, can you walk us through what, if you can explain to our viewers as a layperson, what makes the design or uh, the ability of Akash much better and be more precise under combat conditions? See, there are four characteristics which we have customized for our missile. One is it maintains its speed throughout the flight of the missile. Normally, missile will boost and coast. Here, it is continuously sustained using a what is known as ramjet propulsion. Mm. Is one unique feature. Second one is it is having a, a combat management system with a radar which is electronically scanned phase radar developed by LRD Bangalore, which can handle 12 targets simultaneously uh, and match each target to a missile, hmm. like a mix and match, and then throughout the flight of the missile toward the target, the, the combat system will send command to that missile against that target. Mm. so that there is no confusion. So mm. it's a very intelligent system. So mm. the third feature we have put is intelligent. Fourth feature we have put is this called maneuverability. The missile has three times or more maneuverability than a aircraft. Mm. So it can outmaneuver any of the current fighters, fighters, yeah, yeah, fighters, yes. And lethality, we have done very unique design of a Prox fuse and the warrant system mm. customized for our Indian Army, Indian Air Force, which has made it a very smart uh, fuse system. Mm. Normally, they don't use smart fuse system, we have made a smart fuse. These are the features which are really unique and uh, 
probably uh, nobody has uh, defined all put together in one place. Right. This is uniqueness. Right. Yeah. So we are also looking at a situation where we are talking about jointness of our forces, the army, the navy, the air force, all working together. In that sense, uh, you know, combining all of the firepower or the air defense capabilities of all the forces, uh, what is the important role that Akash plays in such a system? See, as I told you, this uh, Akash system is most agile, number one, most intelligent system, number two, highly lethal, number three, and the whole system is highly mobile. Mm. That is, you can put in a truck and drive a truck. So it is so mobile, you can go on rough terrain, sand terrain, uh, desert terrain, all terrain, you can just drive it out. Mm. So you can go wherever you want and park it and then switch off, switch on and start, which is not so with any other system. Mm. This is the advantage we have for this missile system. Mm. So, and also, I want to tell the our uh, users as well as uh, the, our, our system is the, if you take a ratio of performance by cost, ours is the highest. Mm. Lowest cost, highest performance. Lowest cost and highest performance. That's really amazing. And, you know, take us through your journey of the actual challenges while uh, developing the system because we've seen Akash, we've seen the S-400, all of them performing brilliantly against, uh, you know, the drones, the missiles that have come in from Pakistan's side. Uh, what really, of course, uh, uh, was the, how, how difficult really was it to actually develop or how easy was it? Can you take us through that experience, sir? See, in 15 years, we would have solved... Uh, at least 60 challenges, technical and technological challenges, we would have solved over 15 years, 60 of them. Mm. And uh, we conducted 60 flight testing before we told the Army, and therefore it is ready for you to validate, evaluate. So we did 60 flight tests, and we solved 60 technical problems. Some of them are very small, little mistakes. Some of them are very intelligently handled technological problems, which we have to do a lot of simulation, mathematical modeling, and test it out. So mm -hmm. all that we have done, and uh, these thousand people who have worked from 10, 12 laboratories all over the country, mm -hmm. they have done, and uh, more, 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 many, see, we, we had a young population, mm -hmm. youth power, you know, we saw Dr. Kalam, when he got the program sanctioned, he mm -hmm. went into, number of universities and hired young engineers mm. by personally interviewing and and you know he made it that attractive saying mm. that you come for an interview in the morning mm. evening i will give appointment letter oh so everything came it's by evening is unheard of with the government system if they will take three months six months mm. he said by evening i will give appointment letter you come for interview so mm. he picked smart guys from any college, it is not a foreign degree, it is not for only IITs, he has gone to multi-mix of all laboratories. Mm. And he picked 200 young engineers right. and gave projects, please use them. Mm. And youth power, they are highly dynamic, they are young, they are ambitious, and, uh, and they are so uh, energetic, you know. And they are not loaded with any other problem, like family problem, all young people. They are bub bubbling with energy, so mm. we could do wonderful things and that youth power continues with uh, with India. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. But I also want to draw attention, sir, to the Chinese PL-15, which is a powerful air-to-air -air missile capable of autonomous target tracking and lock-on. Now, this was used in the conflict by Pakistan. However, our forces succeeded in intercepting it and neutralizing it on multiple occasions. Uh, in your view, uh, how do you look at this, particularly, of course, one of China's most advanced missile systems that has failed in a real combat condition as far as India is concerned and how successful and what is the role that you believe Akash played in that? See, the, every uh, country will claim many things, will claim many things. They say year to year, advanced, intelligent, they will claim. But uh, nothing like battle hardening, hardening. We are done battle hardening. Mm. They would have, on paper it looks fantastic. Like any other advertisement, you know, you treat advertisement, it gives the most beautiful part of it. But when you really go to battlefield, that is where the really juice comes out. So what we did, we gave to the Indian Army in the Air Force, please test it out in the worst condition you want to test it. 
Hmm. So they did jamming, they did uh, low altitude. For example, they said, I want to fly the aircraft tree top. Can you intercept? I said, okay, you saw it. So hmm. we used the aircraft tree top and showed them it works. Hmm. Then jamming, they tried whatever best they can they do. We said, we tried. So what we did, we did battle hardening during evaluation by Army and Air Force. Mm. This is a very unique way we do, mm. and uh, probably not many people do this kind of a. See, if you really uh, get a system uh, from some private industries, it will be very difficult to do so many because we are working with government, we could afford to mm. do many such validations. Mm. So, probably that is the one which uh, probably our China had no time to do it. You know, it may be possible that they had no time to. Do like extensive evaluation. See, we had almost uh, five years of evaluation. Mm. Five years. So, uh, 10 years of development, three years of uh, user trial, and mm. another 10 years for user improvement, product improvement. We went on every year, they conduct in various right. places, and we improve. Right. Right. Also, Mr. Rao, the evolving nature of asymmetric warfare and Pakistan's continued use of proxy elements. How is DRDO going to adapt to the R&D focus, particularly in terms of supporting counter-terror operations? Because there are several technologies coming in, are emerging like AI part surveillance. There is, of course, loitering munitions and anti-drone systems as well that are in existence uh, that can, of course, be programmed to you know, precisely target and not be detected. How are you looking at all of these developments as well? See, fortunately, DRDO has established a, a, a center for handling all counter uh, intelligence and also what you said, the cyber intelligence he has made, we have made. Hmm. And uh, thanks to Mo, and, uh, Mo, Prime Minister Modi, he, he, he has uh, triggered us to create special laboratories which are called Young Science Laboratories. That means there the director himself is 35 year old mm. and all scientists are below 35. All are young people. So they know what subject you talk, what language you talk. He said these young laboratories are the future to handle all cyber related issues, smartness issues. The older laboratories will make the hardware. The young laboratories will put the artificial intelligence. Then they will put uh, whatever you think young people will think they will come on. So he gave a very good direction. I think it's one of the best done by Prime Minister, Defense Minister, that he has created young laboratories headed by 35 year old engineers. Mm. So it's a, it's a, it is a game changer in the defense uh, scenario. I think that has given very good dividends and we are doing things which many people have not thought of and I cannot uh, share everything with you, but uh, our young generation is doing very, th very smart things, I should say. Well, Mr. Rao, I can only say that India is, of course, proud of its men in uniform and soldiers. And India is also very proud of our scientists and the research community, which has helped to develop all of these weapons that have proved to be exceptional in defending India and Indians in the current conflict. Thank you so much for speaking to us, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have made India safe and secure. I am very grateful to you for giving a chance to do it in the real field. And also talk to you next place. Sir, Thank the you. nation is grateful to you for your service as well. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste.